we go with another game. Yagami, do not reverse the letters in his name. Okay. He is a human player. On Melting Valley, the uh, standard style for human on Melting Valley is, uh, I would say, Mountain King expansion, leveraging the power of the mercenary camp to heal the Mountain King through damage that may, might otherwise lead him to be very low in life. Any poke damage. Uh, well, I'm gonna try out the build order that I just saw from Focus against Rudan on, on uh, Turtle Rock. It's where you actually do two sets of returns with your peon on lumber instead of sending straight to gold. It is uh, something that I've never really liked to consider because I don't like getting less gold. This this is not the four peon return trick. That's only possible when it's diagonally top left. The gold mine. In fact, I don't even have enough lumber now. So. It, no, it did not work. I actually need to do a, a triple peon or something. Or maybe delay the grunt? Wait. Anyway, it's too late, so... This doesn't do anything. Wait, I wasn't paying attention at the beginning of the game. So I saw something wrong. And I wasn't thinking to. Alright, well... There we go. Uh, I'm still gonna go for a one burrow tech. Just to get my uh, second hero faster. Putting 15 peons in your mind was a thing in Warcraft 2, Taser 44, not in uh, not in Warcraft 3. Uh, that's actually how you did it there. They enter many at a time. Uh, peasant scout here. The fact that he arrives as a peasant is because the map is so large, I think. Or did he make a farm somewhere? Nah. It's a large map. I'm gonna force return so that I can make a quicker stronghold. There we go. Gonna scout with Grunt, sell this, get double solve, and then start going on the map. Now, I'm not terribly fond of playing against Mountain King with non stop harass. Because uh, they just get so much value out of their storm bolts, so I prefer to creep here and there. Which is easier with a large amount of grunts. But even with one or two, I can still get things done. And I'm gonna get Sarklet here. I think the watch reward control is very important for late game. I saw something there. What if he's Archmage? Okay. Actually, I think he's Archmage and he's gonna go for my base. It's not the Mountain King expansion style. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm just gonna check with my grunt in his main. To see what's up. That was a tower. Thanks for the sub, Chrissy Pass. So that cost me a lot of lumber, and he knows it. We also scouted. We saw he went for Arcane Vault. He's teching, so no real surprises there. Um, some people may be excited about the fact that we saved it. The people that actually... No, is they actually... 
are familiar with the fact that I, I'm very behind from that. It's not the impressive part that I saved it, it's the unimpressive part that it was so tedious to save it. In terms of lumber production, I'm definitely very far behind. I think that's the important part that stands out here. Uh, I'm gonna try and compensate a little by making an early war mill and uh, a bishery and skipping my lodge for a bit. I do get some nice items. And I'm happy that I'm not up against Mountain King expansion, which is kind of a difficult strategy to deal with. Um, I should have enough lumber now for a spirit lodge. I just want to check that he's not doing any of the uh, super interesting camps. I don't think he is, but I need to check anyway. Uh, actually, he's on this merc camp, of course. Uh, I think I just send a peon there, not as a permanent scout, but just kind of as a one-time marker. Mm. Well, I'm continuing to be wrong about his location. Wait, that's a very late Arcane Sanctum. What's going on here? That's kind of good for me. Unless it means that he secretly has an expansion or something. Oh, Max Range Samurai Sword. So now we just get value from... Uh, Cancelling his arcane or killing the peasants to try to make it. This is not a comfortable situation for him. And whatever he did to me early is getting fair recompensation. The fact that I'm even effortlessly creeping my shadow just makes it that much better. I made a bit of a snafu here. I have no mana for Windwalk. And nonetheless, I'm continuing the attack. Bit of a snafu. If he had Blood Mage, I could be in even more trouble. He's making it so hard on himself. Doesn't matter. Still had. Oh no. Doesn't matter. Still have Windwalk. Can I get the spirit link now? I'm gonna win to walk. I mean, I'm gonna heal solve myself. Quickly, win, uh, he'll solve the other things that need it. And then I'm basically in fighting shape. If I just give it a little bit of time. And I might have a pretty nice creep jack here. Just need one kill to get Shadow 3, or one or two kills. Uh, bit late on the heal uh, scroll. I don't think under any circumstances should he want to fight against scroll the beast. What he did do very well is uh, focusing my walkers, and what I did poorly is not correctly countering that. Say the word. 
Um, I'd love to have a voodoo lounge here just for vision and for on demand heal solving. I could also get backpack upgrade and I think it's good now. And Kodo can carry a lot of items, so I think he will be the vessel of my items. Have my child! Have my child, Kodo. Okay, where's my Kodo? There we go. Uh, nothing that happens now, what he does, uh, strikes fear anymore. Because I don't think human is supposed to play like this, where they just get Archmage magic and just start creeping. I feel like the lead is solidly with Orc when it's all standard like this. Gonna get armor and attack. I already have the attack. Okay, he has no TP, but he has want of the wind. Now, I could fight, and many orcs might, but I have a special set of skills that makes me very dangerous. I will find this base. And you know the rest. He does have a lot of spirit breakers, uh, spirit walkers. Man, someone trolled me with that name yesterday, and there we go. Spirit breakers. Non existent unit alert. Just gonna check if he has an expansion or not. Who do I kill first? Yes, Need something. Wasted a bit of time with the rigmarole left and right, but I think it's okay. Now I have the option to go for the golem. He's probably somewhere here. GG, go. I'll just use one healing ward. Oh, he's actually here. That's fine. Yes, He's got a lot of items. If this was a baby, I'd name him Cody. Thank you, Arius. Mm, I don't really mind the waiting here if I'm planning this as well. The battle lines have been drawn though. Right now we are stuck in a fight over this. But I can always TP out and get my own. Easy, no problem. Easy does it. Kill the spy. So it's pretty obvious that he has a crush on me. Now it's pretty obvious that uh, I'm going to be going for this camp, but it's as necessary as it is obvious. Sorry, I just remembered Kesha lyrics. Not bad. Um, I think it's time to produce. Yes, 
Okay. We stop camps for now. We interrupt this intermission of creeping without worries. For a call to arms. Peace, Muradin. I've good upgrades. He has no mana, so I don't need to save him snares anymore. So I'm winning the game here. Let's remake Blade Master, shall we? It's a pretty good hero. Uh, I don't mind disengaging here because uh, because um, I'm very low on mana on both my Shadow Hunter and my Walkers. The big question now, the one million dollar question, is does he have an expansion? I'm going to say the likelihood is very low. Just kind of based on the pacing of the game. Uh, you gotta surround your shadow so that he doesn't like steal it with a backpacked invisible unit. If you want to save mana this way. I'd love to have a witch doctor, but I currently don't have a food slot yet. I also need another heal scroll, and I think the next fight should be resoundingly different from the last fight. I think it should be a lot easier. He's top left, by the way, so we're going to have a fight in about 40 seconds from now. And it's going to be a GG unless he has TP. And oh, the granite golem is already gone, so that one is going to be mine. I could have just given dependence of energy to a unit as well. Um, <laughs> I have backpack. I'm sure some smart user of the chat already noticed that. Uh, I'd love to get invulnerability potion. It's pretty important. At this point, the only way that I can really lose 
as if he uh, gets a pick off on my blade master. Did you see something there? Okay, if he just crept the top left and then um, TP is out, that's good for him. If he's actually raiding my bros right now, that's good for him as well. Yeah, he's gonna raid my bros and then TP out. Oh, never mind. Feels pretty waste of time. <laughs> Look at my army. I gave him a lot of creeps because my blade was so late. I'll just get this one for now. And then I'm gonna get a heal scroll on my blade. Another walker, not an unnecessary luxury. Uh, actually, it's unnecessary. I need heal scroll. Pretty lucky item too, endurance aura. No, he doesn't have an expansion, so it's pretty much a fight in the open. If I can mine gold with my peons, and he cannot, that's fine for me. I don't know where he's camping. Yeah. He has zero zero upgrades. That's one thing that keeps getting better for Orc. If he actually sends like an advanced scout to try and uh, see where I'm at and he walks into the sentry ward, that's going to be pretty good for me. Nice, I can still get closer to level, level up. I want to have a good fighting position. He's Archmage 5, nice for him. I have a much bigger army. It's going to be a very easy fight. He does have MK5, that's pretty impressive. I think I can win the fight straight up, but we can also just focus his hero. And without Blizzard he can't... Uh... We saw his items thanks to Ward. We knew he didn't have Invil on it. So... <laughs> we can do like this really cool fight where it's like, Oh, I'm gonna pull back and then... Dodge the Blizzard and snare the Archmage, heal scroll yours and save my... But I've noticed in fights like this, like it'll take a while till we start killing things just because of like the speed, uh, the slows and the breakers and the blizzard. And then like he's going to keep doing bolt level three on blade. Then most likely if I did an army versus army fight, what will happen is that I lose my blades and then win the game with shadow Hunter level six. I could feel it already. And uh, we would get big bad voodoo, which would be nice fan service. But I just wanted to do the most effective fight, which was a uh, new hero focus. Right click meta, Serbian and Jark, so yeah. Uh, I see several uh, orc pros are not using spirit lodge against undeads anymore. What do you think about it? Yeah, I do agree that uh, there is a I definite downside you. to it. Hey, Grubster. Because of Been destroyer while, timings. You run a very high quality stream. That's probably why you're one of the most watched streamers of all games oh, right seven. now. Thanks for keeping the game alive. Older fans appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Less than three. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. 
No, I don't remember how that one was done anymore, Rack Time 95. I want to give a big shout out to one of my youngest viewers who's watching right now, Hayden. He's eight years old. How are you doing, Hayden? Are you uh, shaping up to be quite the pro gamer yourself? Don't forget your schoolwork and always listen to your caretakers, your parents. <laughs> so cute. Guys, if you meet Hayden on ladder, let him win, okay? No, he needs to earn it. Well, you know, I could fight him now, but it's not like I'm in the best fighting shape I've ever been. So I'll just satisfy with the fact that uh, we can get this camp for free. Sentry wards, pretty useful. Uh, I could make unit upgrades, but I think it's better just to focus on... Um, on getting my tiny great hall i have a lead and i can leverage that by getting a tiny when you do